Hey guys and girls, it is 100 degrees. That's right, 100 degrees here in South Louisiana. We're between New Orleans and uh, Baton Rouge right now. We're getting pretty close to Baton Rouge. Pat and I got up at five o'clock this morning at Woodland Plantation in uh, south of New Orleans, Woodland Plantation. And we've been down there fishing for the last couple of days. And uh, we got up at five o'clock this morning. We have driven 100 miles and it's 2.20 in the afternoon. What? What's wrong with that problem? <laughs> Seven and a half hours, we're 100 miles down the road heading back toward Oklahoma. But we decided that we would go bass fishing. We've been saltwater fishing for the last couple of days, actually brackish water fishing for the last couple of days, catching redfish. Caught a lot of redfish, then uh, a lot of redfish were the eating size. Eating size redfish are those up to, but not over 17 inches. Once they get to 17, uh, they, they get well they no 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 let me rephrase that they got to be 17 between 17 and 27 those are the ones you eat we didn't eat them we throw them all back we caught a lot of them though and uh and then the ones over 27 are called bull reds and then bull reds is what were you really looking for because you want all that fight and the big ones and, and uh but we we fished two days with my buddy eddie adams down there he guides down there around venice and uh we just had a great time. We just had a great time. Uh, I've had my Ranger boat down there. I got my Ranger 521R back behind me, and uh, we did tear up one Mercury propeller. Tore it up pretty good, pretty good. Tore that prop up pretty good. But you know, they're almost giving those away for about a thousand bucks. But uh, that's part of fishing. It's uh, not fun when it happens, but it happens, and uh, could have been worse. That's the way you always look at it when you crash into something with your motor, your Mercury motor, is it could have been worse whatever, unless it is the ultimate tearing the thing all to pieces. We, all we tore up was a prop, uh, didn't bend a prop shaft or anything like that, so that was good. But yesterday, yesterday we got into some big bull reds and we caught quite a few of them. I also caught a Jack uh, Cravel that was well over 20, 20 pounds, probably in a 25 pound class. And get this, I caught that fish, I caught that fish on my Jimmy Houston camo, camo combo, spinning rod, that's right. $49 rod and reel. You know, we got some of those that are 29, some of them 39, some of them 49. $49 rod and reel, and I catch a 25 pound Jack Crevel. I had some uh, 20 pound braid on there, 20 pound Bass Truck Shop braid on, and uh, and I had a leader on there. I had a leader that was really about a 40 pound leader, a short leader, not a real long leader, but uh, catch a big 25 pound Jack Crevel. It was a battle. It was a war. It was not a battle. Big long fight, but we had we had a good time. So we had a couple of days, great days there. Stayed at uh, Woodland Plantation, that's in uh, uh, Plaquemine, Plaquemine Parish, which is one of the areas south of New Orleans that has got some of the greatest fishing in the world. Venice is what you think about there, but there's a big area called Venice, uh, area a little bit over to, uh, further over, I guess, toward the west, I think it's called Delacro. But uh, the area we're fishing is Venice. You can fish on the bay side. You can also fish on the riverside, which we fish the riverside quite a bit there. And uh, you got a chance to catch a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of species. The second day, I caught sheephead. We caught two different species of catfish. Caught speckled trout, a lot of speckled trout, and all good, nice, big size speckled trout. Um, and caught redfish and um, sheephead, beautiful sheephead, and Jack Crevel. I think seven different species of fish we caught yesterday, including plenty of big bull reds. Reds is over 27 inches long, which. You know, you get up here in that class, they're about eight or 10 pounds and uh, and, and over. So we, we, we caught some, I guess the biggest had, I don't know what that was, maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 pounds, something like that, maybe bigger than that. Probably was bigger than that. <laughs> Roland fished yesterday. My buddy Roland Martin's been down there with us. He's still down there. He's gonna stay a couple more days. And uh, he caught a black drum that he said weighed 41 pounds. Now, I'm pretty sure Roland did not measure or weigh that fish. So the 41 pounds is coming some just right off the top of your head and looking at it. So anyway, it probably did not weigh 41 pounds, but uh, but he had a great time too. He shot a couple of shows. Uh, you'll be seeing those on uh, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing on YouTube. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to that channel. If you're not subscribed, you'll be seeing some of that on there. We are shooting shows for next year's television. So you'll see those two shows from uh, Plaquemine Parish uh, on next year's television shows, 2025 shows. But you'll see some experts, some of the fishing on Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing 
uh, YouTube channel uh, within the next week or two. Within the next couple of weeks, you'll be able to see some of that. Got a lot of nice, exciting stuff coming up on there. I'm anxious to get back to Sherry's tonight, see my beautiful Chris. Chris has been there for a week now. We had a fantastic week this last week. We fished a, a couple of days down at Toledo Bend. Had one day we did uh, pretty good catching crappie off of the Pendleton Bridge. We'll be showing you that as well. We had another day. We didn't do very well at all fishing for bass. Not, didn't do very well at all. And uh, so we probably won't be showing you any of that. <laughs> but we had a good time down there. We was down there with uh, my, my buddy uh, Mike from... Uh, uh, Booyah Clean Cleaner, the environmentally safe cleaner. You can clean your boats right in the marina slip if you have it in slip. <clears throat> Wash it off wearing the water. It's 100% uh, EPA approved to be able to do that. And I think it's the only boat cleaner that you can do that. The rest of them you have to load your boat out and uh, wash it somewhere where you can drain it into, into a sewer system or something. But with Booyah Clean, you can actually wash it right there in, the, uh, in your boat slip, uh, rinse it off in the lake, but it doesn't hurt a thing, it doesn't hurt a thing. Doesn't hurt the water uh, a bit, you know. But, but completely EPA approved to be able to do that. But Mike came down and uh, he cooked uh, dinner for us a couple nights. And like always, he just like I'm gonna tell you. I don't know if he cooks at home, but if he does, it's probably the only reason his wife married him because he is an incredible cook and just great crab dip and stuff he made every day and it's just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. We went up to Grand Prairie. We went up to Grand Prairie on a Wednesday, a 250 miles drive up there, 250 something, 258 I think, and and uh, we drove up there, uh, drove up there on Wednesday and opened that store Wednesday night, and then you started to drive on down to uh, to uh, Plaquemine Parish there and, and the Venice area to saltwater fish. But uh, we had a great grand opening up there at the Bass Pro Shop. You know those Bass Pro Shop nights, the grand openings. That's the new Grand Prairie story are, are called Evening of Conservation. And uh, a lot of people might not realize it if you don't ever go to one of those, but we give 10 or 20 or 30% of every dollar that's spent in that store that night goes into conservation. Not only is it donated into conservation, it goes into conservation for that area right there. So conservation projects right there around Grand Prairie to make hunting and fishing better in that area. Johnny Morris, uh, the guy that owns and started, founder of Bass Pro Shop, um, that, uh, that his biggest thing in life is not really Bass Pro Shop, his biggest thing in life is raising money for conservation and he's raised and donated millions and millions of dollars uh, out of his own pocket to make fishing and hunting better here in the United States. So greatest conservationist actually in the history of America, Johnny Morris from Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's. And uh, you know, of course, Tracker Marine's also owned by Johnny and Ranger Boat Company. So I run both Tracker and Ranger Boats. I've run Ranger Boats since 1960, the fall of 1968. It was a 69 model boat, but uh, I've run them ever since then. I've run Tracker Boats for uh, also for about the last 25 or 30 years. So uh, both boat brands we, we run and fish out of, you know, all the, all the time. So it's been a busy week, a really hectic week. We've t done a lot of traveling. We put a a lot of miles on this expressway ram uh, truck and it's just done beautifully for him we got about we got about uh to get to sherry's house we've got as i speak right now 555 miles i'm glad that didn't say 666 it says 555 five, five. 555 miles to get back to sherry so we're uh, circling around baton rouge right now i don't think we're going right through baton rouge we're going circling around right now and uh and so uh, traffic's picking up a little bit. I'm gonna get off here and get a little bit thicker traffic, but we're on a big four lane interstate, Interstate 10, so it's pretty safe driving out here as long as you stay in your lane. That's what they're always saying, stay in your lane. And that's what we try to do is stay in our lane. Sometimes we do that pretty good, sometimes we don't. It says that right there is 13 minutes faster, but I don't know if that is or not. That's the way we came in. That is, isn't it? I don't, don't let me miss that turn. What is it, seven tenths of a mile up here somewhere? Yeah. Getting ready to make it. Yeah. You know, getting ready to make a turn here that my GPS, God's positioning system, says that it's 14 minutes faster, which we can use 14 minutes because we've taken all day and not got very far away. Oh, by the way, what we did is we, we, we had a, we, we found a lake and, and uh, it, it, uh, it's one of the most beautifully managed lakes that I have ever seen. And uh, we, uh, it says, to, it says uh, to, you go that one. Okay. We get off right here, Pat, or what? No. It says. Mine says to. Here? Yeah.
Okay. We'll see if this is 14 minutes faster or not. This is where we came, Pat said, so that sounds good to me. Yep, that sounds good to me. So, so we uh, we get up at five o'clock this morning and we uh, we wash the boat down with fresh water. Anytime you're in any salt water, even though we weren't in real heavy salt water, we was in uh, pretty heavy salt water. You need to rinse all your rod and reels off, which we did with the fresh water and the water hose, and use some uh, salt off, protected from booyah clean on it and uh rips all of our, our rod and reels off rips the boat off the trolling motor the power poles the, uh, the mercury motor everything the carpet everything rinsed it all off and uh got it got it in good shape we left the left the cover off of it so but uh but anyway this lake is absolutely incredible beautifully managed it was fertilized had a beautiful tent we saw fish galore on our gpa on our uh, garmin live scope galore i mean tons and tons of fish never had a bite never had a bite fish from about 7 30 until 11 30 four hours never had a bite we thought we could go over there maybe in two or three hours catch enough fish to do a television show but we fished um we fished 11 30 11 45 something like that and uh, and never had a bite what do i want to do now 0.6 uh, uh okay all right, Pat's directed me here, so he said I need to get off of this and end this thing. But we got a good week planned this week. We'll be back at the ranch, getting back in there tomorrow night. And everything's going good down there. I've been watching my cameras every day. Saw a couple of elk in the yard this morning, as a matter of fact. And uh, Patsy's there taking care of things. We had two more baby bucks born this week. I think that is 26, and we've had a couple, two or three die uh, over the last two or three weeks. But really, pretty much all the deer are doing fine. Very few casualties this year, and lots and lots of bucks. So when we go to we go to turning all these deer loose uh, this fall or late this winter. Uh, it, we're going to have a lot more bucks running around, so that's fantastic. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. I'm getting ready to make a turn down here uh, at this light. And uh, we're out there playing golf. They ought to be out fishing. It's 100 degrees in Baton Rouge. I hope it's nice and cool wherever you are. It's nice and cool wherever I am inside this truck. <laughs> have you a good nap there. And remember... You remember, I sure do love you.